What's up YouTube, Zero here, and today I'm going to go over an amazing balanced samurai build in Ghost of Tsushima. So first let's take a look at the charms. I have the charm of Mizu no Kame, the charm of Amatura So, the charm of Inari's Might, the charm of Ferocity, and two charm of Bludgeonings. Now that we've gone over that, let's see what they do. The charm of Mizu no Kame, parries, perfect parries, and perfect dodges are easier to perform. Charm of Amatura So, killing enemies restores a moderate amount of health. The Charm of Inari's Might increases health and melee damage by an amount. The Charm of Ferocity, moderate increase to melee damage. And the Charm of Bludgeoning increases the stagger damage. Now I have Gosaku's Armor on, which massive increase to health. Major increase to stagger damage, and killing a staggered enemy restores 20% of health. Now that we've gone over the setup, let me talk about the location of these items, and then I'll get into why this build is so good and so balanced. So, the Charm of Mizo no Kame is located at the Spring Fall Shrine. The Charm of Amatura So is located at the Golden Summit Shrine. If you need help getting to either of those, I'll link videos in the description of how to get to those, and then climb those shrines. The Charm of Inari's Might is actually obtained by completing a certain amount of Fox Shrines, and the more you complete after you obtain the Charm of Inari's Might, the stronger it gets. The Charm of Ferocity you can obtain from three different side quests, the Traitor, the Family Man, or a Thief of Innocence. The Charm of Bludgeoning you can also get from three different side quests, the Thief, the River Children, or the Laughing Bandits. And the armor set, Gosaku's armor, you can get from, you guessed it, the Unbreakable Gosaku Mythical Tale. Now that we've talked about where you can find all of this setup, let's talk about why this is balanced and why this is so good. So first thing, the reason why this is balanced is because I want to focus on both offense and defense. I don't want to go too strong to one side or too strong to the other. Gosaku's armor is actually a great balanced armor. You have a massive increase to health, and then you're dealing major stagger damage. And when you do kill a staggered enemy, you restore 20% of your health, which is absolutely awesome. It is a perfect balanced armor. For the charms, I'm just adding to that balance. The two major charms that I have are defensive charms. Mizu no Kame is going to help me dodge and perfect parry easier in the game so I can play a little bit more defensive. After I am able to perfect parry or perfect dodge, I'm going to be able to get that stagger hit off and because I have the charm of bludgeoning on, I'm going to be dealing increased stagger damage. And when I do kill a staggered enemy, I get to restore 20% of my health. On top of that, the charm of Amatura So also restores health when I kill an enemy. And that's just when I kill an enemy, I don't need to kill a staggered enemy. So the nice thing about that is I can kill any enemy. I don't have to worry about killing a staggered enemy and I'm already restoring my health. However, if I kill a staggered enemy, I'm restoring it even more. So that lends a lot to defensive strategy, but I also am dealing a lot of offensive damage as well with the Charm of Ferocity, the Charm of Bludgeoning. Inari's Might is the perfect combination of a defensive and offensive charm because it's doing both defense and offense. And really, this build is just all around really good and really balanced for the game. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Now, this isn't going to lend itself as well to maybe somebody who wants to play as an assassin. That's why I call this a balanced samurai build. But it is going to play well in gameplay when you're facing hordes of Mongols or even when you're in a duel because it does grant you both great offense and great defense of setups. So what do y'all think about this build? Have you used it? And if you have, do you enjoy using it? I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did, Feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Ghost of Tsushima content. Well, until next time, peace.